is maths time emerald and we're doing some word problems today we've been working on our multiplication uh, skills and our division skills we've used number line to multiply and a grid to multiply two digit numbers and we've been um, using a, a number line to divide sometimes we've taken off it if there's a multiple 10 that we can take off first from a shortcut we'll do that and then step count the rest along the number line so you can get up to some quite large numbers quite high numbers using those strategies now um, so we're going to have a look at word problems um, we'll have a recap now with our starter on using a number line and let's have a look at this together we've got 16 fruit ke fruit kebabs shared between four people nice healthy option there uh, 16 divided by 4 equals 3 now something's gone wrong with this number line what is the mistake where's it gone wrong and what would the right answer be so i'm going to get you to pause the video now and have a look at that see if you can work out because we've definitely got the wrong answer and i can tell it's the wrong answer because when we look back at this sum here if we were to use the inverse to check this so we can use the the facts that we've got and then reverse them we would have 3 times 4 which equals 12 so this doesn't work I can tell that straight away so why is it wrong what's gone wrong with this number line have a look and pause the video now hopefully you've had a little time to have a look at that and you will have realized that the right answer is 16 divided by 4 equals 4 and if you're really careful it's quite a common mistake actually um, when you started the number line the number line has always in these instances got to start at zero and instead of doing that this person who has um, carried out the number line work has started it at four which is quite common so don't make that mistake and have one um, multiple short and um, start your start your number line and your first step count is um, going to be one multiple of that um, divisor okay so if your call challenge for your starter we've got counting in fives today to count how many snowman biscuits there are below i love these these look really effective don't they these little snowmen um nice bit of icing going on uh how many biscuits are there here well you can step count in fives let's have a go at doing that five ten and five 15 or you could just count them up in ones but it's much quicker and probably more accurate to count up in fives now so on a tray there are seven rows of snow dusted cherries there are six in each row how many cherries are on a tray can you work through the question what is the calculation you will need to do what would your number line look like and at the end, I've put a little question for you. What is the useful strategy we can use to help solve word problems? And I'll give you a little hint for that. It's like a bag, some sort of a bag. Okay. Um, sorry about the formatting on this. It's, um, I was having a lot of trouble today with um, my computer and it's literally thrown a little glitch there. Um, so, but I think you can see this top one says there are seven rows. Okay, so pause the video and have a little talk to somebody or talk it out loud reread this and see if you can answer those questions okay so we've um, got this question which is seven rows of cherries with six in each row so the calculation that we'll need to do is going to be seven rows of six so that's um, you've got seven rows here of six cherries and this actually works for this um, picture here um, it's a times table question because we can see we've got seven rows of six cherries with six cherries in it we're going to have a lot more than seven and six okay so we know that the number is going to be bigger so our number line the calculation is going to be a multiplication and your number line is going to look like step counts up to um, sorry not up to se uh, seven rows of six or six rows of seven and the useful strategy we can use is the rucksack do you remember that we've done that this term 
um, we did it with some multiplication problems okay and this should be um, a refresher for you you've got this when solving word problems what should we use as a checklist we use rucksack okay the first thing we do um, and this is where the most problems happen is actually taking time to read the, the question through really carefully okay the biggest tip for me with this would be read it and actually maybe even read it again okay read it twice because when you go when you get the answer we often see this with them um, with people when they're doing them when we get to the answer and you, you know you've done all the really hard work and it's the wrong answer it's often we just look at the question and and, and the amount of times I've said to people recheck the question and they've gone oh oh I did it oh I didn't really and actually quite quite absolutely flying through the maths but actually the understanding and the reading is the bit that they've just slipped up on okay so underline the bits that you need the key the key information in the question so it stands out for you choose your calculation choose what you're going to do and today it could be multiplying or it could be dividing then you're going to solve it you're going to use a number line if you're doing the hot the hotter ones you could use a and you know it's a multiplication you could use a multiplication grid and you're going to answer your question so put that back in the number sentence and you're going to check um, that you've got it right and if it's a dividing one you can do what I've told I showed you on the starter which is to use your answer and then do an inverse sum so you do the answer times the divisor and then you should come out with a dividend okay just work it back through okay hopefully that will work so I'm keeping the rucksack on there just to keep bear in mind so the problems today are rather multiplication or division questions and we need to make sure we read the questions carefully and choose that correct calculation. Underline that key information will help. So this is a little tip for you. We've not, we've not really talked about this, but to choose the right calculation, it can be helpful to read the question and really think it through. If you've got two lower numbers and you think, actually, reading that question, my answer is going to be lots of, so you're going to make that, that number higher then you know it's a multiplication uh, multiplication question multiplication question so if you know that the um, answer will be a lower number for instance if you're sharing or splitting or cutting something down um, then you will um, be dividing so if you're if you think my answer is going to be higher here then it's a multiplication if it's a dividing, it will probably be lower um, than the numbers. Okay, your answer will be lower than those numbers. If it will be higher, multiply. If it will be lower, divide. There is a bit of a a a, 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 a little bit of a um, of, of a trap with some of these because sometimes they say something is cut into bits, and then those bits are are. Um, then you might have four lots of those uh, things that have been cut up. So you have to be a little bit careful with them. I think there's uh, there's a little bit of a trap, but it might be near the end of the uh, of the questions. So we've got a question here for you. There are 56 chicken drumsticks being cooked on trays. There are eight drumsticks on each tray. So how many trays are there? Now it says there be there's the 56 drumsticks and the... Um, there are only eight on each tray so this the most amount that 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 number sentence can be is 56 so this is a dividing one because that we can't have any more chicken drumsticks than 56 so you know this is going to be a division question we can set it out doing skip jumps on our number line to adding on one times eight each time up to we get to that dividend don't forget to stop don't keep carrying on or don't stop short and then we count how many jumps we've made how many steps one two three four five six and seven so our answer is seven okay 
factor, those numbers are going to be less because it just says we've got 56 chicken drumsticks being cooked on the trays. And there are eight drumsticks, a smaller amount being put on each tray. Okay, so you know that's dividing. So this is a guided one now, and if you wanted to jot this one down and have a little go at it, um, I wouldn't worry about writing the whole question out, but you could write your number sentence out. So there are seven mini burgers in one pack. So seven in one pack, I'm just imagining that in my head. And a cook has four packs all together. So in those seven packs, sorry, in those in a, one pack has got seven burgers and they're saying they've got four packs. So I know I've got four lots of seven mini burgers. So my answer is definitely going to be more than just seven mini burgers. So this is going to be a multiplication question. A multiplication question. question. Done it again. So seven burgers in a pack and there's four, back, four packs. The answer will be higher than those two packs. So it's multiply four times seven. And even though I don't know my my seven times tables i could have wanted to switch these round and do seven lots of four i'm going to be a devil today and i'm going to write them in the sevens because i can add i can double seven to 14 then i can add on seven if it's not those known multiplication facts you just have to be a little bit more careful when you're adding double check and we've got the answer we we've jumped up in four lots of seven to get to se to seventy eight to get to twenty eight. So steps to success today. I'm going to carefully cut it. Well, I've but actually I've done this for whether we, when we were in class, which you can't cut out the question and stick in your book. Okay, I should have changed this. Um, so you've got an, a um, a question sheet. Hopefully you've got that printed out. Probably easier to print out today rather than work from the video. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not impossible. Read the question twice and underline those key parts. Use a rucksack, read it really carefully, write the number sentence in. Then you solve it using a number line for division and multiplication. And there's a hot sheet today. If you're really happy using your grid method and your um, for two digit numbers and you're really happy with those bigger chunks, then you can go onto that hot sheet, have a go at it. If you find it too much, then do, you can do the other one. It's not a not a problem. If you're finding the um, the the multiplying on a number line and dividing on a number line still tricky, don't worry. Um, you're going to answer completely the number sentences. What I'd like you to do is actually think about if you're really struggling with the the um, arithmetic side and using those uh, number lines. Don't worry about it. What I'd like you to do is actually go through the question rather than struggling on with that. Cut out each question and then sort them, read them really carefully and then sort them into a pile of multiplication questions and a pile of division questions. And if that's what you can do today, then I think you've actually been successful. OK, because these are quite a tricky and challenging job. OK. And I don't want you to think, oh, I've got to do everything, I've got to do everything. It's not a problem. Because the key part of this work to solve those word problems is actually understanding it, reading it properly, understanding it, and working out which calculation to use. So if that's what you get done today, that's fine. Okay? Uh, don't get caught up in that trap of thing. I've got to do the whole thing. If you're working hard and that's what you get to, brilliant. Okay, if you get a whole lot done and you get every hot one done, that's fantastic as well. But this is about you feeling successful in what you're doing. Okay, um, check you're correct, and you could prove this by showing the inverse sum to um, to prove what you've done. And I've shown you how to do that quite quickly. Oh my goodness me! What's Mr. Egg saying today? He's saying it's a cracking job today. He loves those puns, doesn't he? Here is your. Um, here are your sheets. I've put on there that you've got the standard level sheet, which is the one that starts with 20 mini cupcakes shared between four. How many cupcakes do they have each? These are very bright blue cupcakes going on here. We've got some carrot portions. It's all about food. It's like having a little party, I think. Slices of apple, bits of pizza, balloons, chef putting biscuits in, party poppers and big birthday cakes okay check this one out this one is a little bit of a trap here so um 
there are and then this one it does just exactly the same but it does higher numbers and higher divisions okay slightly trickier oh who turned up the heating and made the snowmen melt that's because we've got hot challenges i think today okay uh that's it from me uh, i'm going to sc scroll it back to there and leave that with you and hopefully you'll have a really good try with this today uh, it's Friday, hooray, and we got through the week, so brilliant, it's been a tough one, I know, and um, very different, and it feels like we're sort of going back to when we were in lockdown originally, and it, you know, it's a challenge, but we've got, we're getting through it, and we are a really good team, when we get back into class next week, we are going to have a, um, a little surprise that's arrived in our classroom, and um, Mrs. Stone and her one of her children helped with that. So although she's seriously busy, she's you know she helped us get ready for coming back, which is really nice. And um, we need to say a big thank you to her when she comes in uh, into the class. And I'm sure she'll pop her head in when we're back in on Tuesday. Okay, have a lovely weekend as well, and um, try and get this work done. I'd do it today if you can on Friday. Don't worry though, you know, just do your very best, okay? I'm going to leave it there. Bye for now.